today we're looking at Rainbow Astro RST 150H. This is a portable mount, extremely portable mount. It weighs about uh, 10 pounds and could carry 30, 15 kilograms to be more accurate. The mount goes on the tripod with a dovetail. The little extension you see above the tripod is called the half pier. That comes with the tripod. That's not part of the mount. That comes with the tripod purchase. The mounts, uh, there's a dovetail that attaches to the mount with two screws and the dovetail fits into the half pier, pier that could rotate 360 degrees and then tighten with three screws all the way around. That's the hand controller. The hand controller is not necessarily have to be used with the mount. I'm using a portable power supply over here. The power attachment to 12 volt attachment is regular uh, five and a half millimeter by two and a half, 2.1 millimeter uh, standard jack. It uses 12 volts. There is a homing function on this mount. To home the mount, you press and hold zero. It takes about, it depends on, depending on how far it is from the homing to the home position, it takes about five to 30 seconds. To do the polar alignment, uh, since the mount has a mechanical home position, it knows what time it is, and the tripod is level, uh, you can just slew to an object. In this case, I'm going to be using the sun as my rough polar alignment. This is similar to the some of the methods other manufacturers use. This method is not listed on the hand controller as a method, but I find I found no reason what not why not to use it. Currently, I slew the telescope to the sun and I'm going to loosen the dovetail on the half pier and I'm simply going to rotate the mount until the telescope points roughly to the sun. The telescope is covered, I'm not uh, looking or pointing the telescope to the sun, that's important. Um, uh, this is the rough form I mean, procedure. The mount does also, also come with a pole master adapter where the accurate portal alignment can be done. In my case, I'm going to be I'm going to be using SkyX and building a 10, 20 point model to refine my polar alignment. Just to find this mechanical position, uh, it does have a built-in GPS where it pulls the location and the time if you choose to. The GPS is built is on the mount, not on the hand controller. When I was recording this, there was a lot of background noise, so I basically uh, deleted the uh, original soundtrack and I'm re recording over. The telescope goes on the Vixen dovetail. The Vixen dovetail is, uh, is an add-on. The telescope does not have to be balanced whatsoever. Since there's no counterweight shaft, the RA is completely unbalanced anyways, and the deck is the same principle. Uh, I did put the telescope somewhat balanced in the midpoint of the telescope, but it does not have to be balanced whatsoever. Here I'm going to home the mount again just for demonstration, but it really doesn't have to be done. This is just to show how easy it can handle the weight. The imaging telescope over there is a, a Vixen VSD 
with an Attic One 6 camera. Uh, the, both of them, it, they're well over uh, 20 pounds. But you can see how easily the mount can handle the weight.